behind the scenes of all the excitement Go Bucks! is a major coordination of law enforcement here in Tampa. The Super Bowl is an attractive target for terrorists and criminals, so we never take our eye off the ball. 70 local, state and federal agencies have all converged on the city ahead of the big game. And while officials are stressing there is no credible threat, there are unique security concerns this year. At this time, one particular area of concern is domestic violent extremism. That's because the recent attack on the Capitol is still fresh on everyone's mind. Add into the mix a public health crisis. And it's the first time the Super Bowl is being played by a team on its home turf, which may trigger more hometown celebrations. After having the virus, I can tell you that it is serious and people need to take it serious. We're relying on people just being good citizens. Community ambassadors will be on site to make sure fans follow safety protocols. I am actually the line manager social distancer today. At the stadium, masks are mandatory and tailgating is banned. And tickets are all digital and sold only in pods. I'm very impressed with uh, everything that they've done here with the COVID, with the wash stations, the sanitizer, markings all over the ground, and minimizing the crowd. Officials stressing the public is key to pulling off a safe event for everyone. If you see something, say something and maybe even helping take home a trophy. So the hope is come Monday morning, we're celebrating a Bucks victory and no one knows who the chief of police is in the city of Tampa. If no one recognizes my face or knows my name, we had a safe, secure event. I love that. All right, Carrie, there's also another kind of weird story about a barber who ended up having COVID and there were Kansas City players in line to get their hair cut. So what do we know about that? Well, ESPN is reporting that the Kansas City Chiefs barber was cutting hair. Now, in the seat as he was cutting was the Kansas City Chiefs center, Daniel Kilgore. Now, the barber's wearing a mask. The guy he's cutting the hair is wearing a mask. He's halfway through the haircut and look at the picture. <laughs> Boom. He finds out while he's cutting the hair that nice. he actually tested positive. The good news is that uh, this is not going to sideline any of the players. Daniel Kilgore went up getting his hair completely cut. That was just a good picture for oh, a okay. lighthearted okay. moment. But it points out really the concern <laughs> that folks have with coronavirus and how quickly it's spread. Oof. No players wow. are sidelined, but they will be testing them right up to game time. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.